continuing on uh, this month. Uh, we continue to uh, honor women like Barbara who are taking their interests and wants into their own hands to change their future. And this morning, I'd like to introduce you to Nikisha Williams, a former news producer who started writing books. But after months of pitching her first novel, she started working with two literary agents, but neither gave her a contract. So she decided to change the rules of the game on them. It's 2017. It's been two years since I finished the book. It's gone through a bunch of revisions. You think it's ready. All you say it needs is a copy edit. I'm going to start working on self-publishing this by the end of the year unless you sell it to a, to a major publisher. So now as a full-time author and self-publisher, she says she works more hours than ever before and has to stay focused during the day to juggle becoming an entrepreneur, a mother, a wife, and more. And one piece of advice she has for people working full-time jobs who want to leave to pursue their dreams is to have a financial safety net to help you in case you run into tough times. So I had enough of a structure for my business and my husband had enough of a safety net under me so that if I flew and I hit the ground, I wouldn't actually hit the ground, I'd hit the net. So make sure that you, you have a plan, work the steps, and do the things that you want to do now for your business or your entrepreneurial journey while you're still working that full-time gig. In addition to publishing her own books through New Reads Publications, she now publishes for other authors. And that's why we celebrate women like Nikisha, because she held on to her dream and made it happen. And it's just an example of how you can to. And I'll have a link to her website where you can actually purchase her books, as well as check out the other authors that she now publishes for on our website, WKYC.com. Well, congrats to Nikisha. She definitely is an inspiration. Yes, she is. She's amazing and a personal friend, so I'm an, always in awe of her. Yeah. Well, one of the other things.